this time on Mysteries at the Museum. So, there was this general named General Charles Lee. He was a former member of the British Army who moved to the colonies and transferred to the Continental Army in 1775. It was a huge promotion for him, and he only had a senior officer and his new military, George Washington. Just how loyal he was to his new cause has long been up for debate. Though, and it's not clear exactly what sort of damage he did to the rebel cause. During the last years of the war, Lee was respected for his capabilities as a military leader. His decisions on the battlefield and his devotion to the cause. Originally, no one questioned his former British allegiance. He wasn't the only formerly British soldier on the field by any means. In December 1776, he was captured by the British. He spent the next two years a British prisoner. The events of this time are unknown, but there are plenty of rumors. According to the British General Howe, Lee spilled the beans on Washington's strategies and told his adversaries just where to find all of the Americans' weak spots. Documents sub Dantiating his treason or kept quiet for a long time. They came into the public eye almost 70 years after the fact. Whether or not Lee was actually betraying his commander is unclear. Some theorize that he was feeding false information to the British. Events after his rescue in April 1778 make the object of his loyalty even less clear. With the Battle of Monmouth Courthouse descending into complete chaos, Washington and his army stepped into the battle just as Lee was leaving it. Harsh words were exchanged, leading to Lee's suspension from his post. It's absolutely not clear whether or not he had made the right call, as some insist that he did. And why on earth he thought talking back to George Washington was the best course of action. He was permanently removed from the military and died two years later, leaving behind unanswerable questions about whether he was a traitor or a hero. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what makes the tale of Charles Lee a wonderful and juicy mystery.